Hi everyone, this is Jane here. I'm just um just kind of doing a little craft along thing today. I won't be too long just because I need to keep them quite short because of uploading. Um and I'm conscious that I haven't done anything actually making anything with you guys for a while. Um because I've not been that well but I'm okay now so I thought I would come along and do a little bit of something um with this I actually made this collage just by my desk was really messy I had loads of stuff all over it so I just got a piece of coffee dyed paper and um stuck all the remaining scraps that I had on the table well most of them um onto this piece of paper and then I decided to um I, I wanted to use my um gelatos and my distress crayons so I thought I would put a layer of gesso on and instead of using the clear gesso that I had I used a white gesso because I'd not really used that before and I didn't really know um what the effect of that was going to be I'm just sticking down those little edges there's probably a lot of other little things that need to be stuck down as well but i could just see that one it was annoying me so i stuck it down so instead of using like a clear gesso i used this which is white gesso never used it before really i don't think i might have used it on one thing but i couldn't remember how it worked or what it was really going to look like so um it actually does really dull things down a lot um, and it leaves a kind of it's a kind of slightly rough texture to it um, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with this whole thing at the moment um, but what I decided to do was just splodge um, a load of different colors of um, gelatos and um this is done with some um what they call to crowns distress crowns so i did that as you can see some of this stuff is just lifting a bit um it's because usually when i do a collage i'll usually use mod podge or something which sticks everything down really really well but i actually did this with glue stick um and you can see you get a lot of curl up going on it's not a problem you can flatten that down and literally stand a heavy book on it and it will, it will level itself back out again. Um, but what I thought I'd do with you today is to try and um, use some stencils to see what shapes I can get um, from the crayons and the gelatos and just see what we get so these stencils they're very very flimsy they weren't very expensive ones and they they come i think they come from amazon or somewhere like that um and they're, they're very very flimsy and what i'm going to do first is i'm going to try and do this with baby wipe and see where we get to with that i might need to use a sponge um i'm not sure but the baby wipe has worked quite well for me before so what this will do is it will take off what you've put on um, with the crayons of the gelatos so let's see how that looks so that looks quite cool actually quite cool so that's fun um, let's try with the other one over here some I think work better than others this might be one that needs a sponge but we'll have a look and we'll see what we get I think it is lifting some of it off let's see yeah there's a little bit of that that's lifting up um, I think it might be because I'm not really getting into the spaces 
very well. Let me just try down here. Let's see if I can get into the spaces a bit better. Yeah, it seems to, I think with that particular stencil, it seems to be lifting it up maybe a bit too much. Let me try with the sponge. So I've also got, with my gelato, I've got some sponges and there's two sort of um, consistencies. One is um, really quite squishy and this one is much, much harder. This is the one I like best. This is the one that works best for me anyway. Um, so let's just put that back there. Okay. So I'm going to just dip it in a little bit of water. See if that helps to lift some of it off. But let's just see. Let's try down here with the blue. Let's see what we get. It could just be that this isn't a great stencil for doing it with because it is lifting it off. But it's not leaving much of a mark. So let me just try with a different stencil. This is this is always a good one. I like this. Um, definitely needs to be wet it's a long time since I well it's not that long but it feels like a long time since I actually um, since I actually did this with the stencils Kind of dampen it a bit yeah that looks like that's gonna lift that much better yeah okay so let's just try along the top here and see what we get I really like this kind of gothic writing Yes, even that's not working great, is it? I think maybe I didn't have enough water. Let, let me try it with a little bit more water. Could have been that. Could have been the fact that there's not a lot of coverage of the gelato up there. Right, let's got some more water on there. Let's do it here where we can actually see there's loads. seem to be working very well either does it let me try with the thing again let's try with this it's all a little bit trial and error I think sometimes it works well others not so well there's definitely a little bit of something happening but it's very um dulled down best way I can describe it. Let me try. We'll get another, we'll get the gelato. I think this was the one I was using up there. Let's darken it up a little bit. See what we end up with. So you just pop your gelato down, rub it in. Now let's see if this makes any difference. Might be better because we've got a bit more color there. Might just be that you have to do it a bit slower as well, you know, be a bit more patient. 
yeah we're definitely getting a little bit more a little bit more coming off there let's try with a different up here see what happens all just trial and error isn't it oh yeah that's a lot better isn't it that's a lot better groovy let's try on the green let's try down here with this A little bit more with the green. Come over here. Try a bit more. Yeah, so it's definitely a little bit more shown through. I'm still not really sure what I'm going to do with this um, thing. <laughs> collage that I'm making. I'm just not really sure what I'm gonna do. Let's try use this bronzy colour down here. Brownie bronzy colour. Put a bit more down. Merlin. Sorry, that's that's Merlin playing about with things he shouldn't be playing about with because he's not getting attention. Let's see what we get down here. Cool. So yeah, I don't know whether it's because it's better to do it on fresh gelato, maybe, um, or whether it's better to do it where you've put down a lot more colour. Um, but that definitely seems to be working better. I'm not quite sure what I'm using this for yet, whether it might be used for cover or whether it might be used for some... A belly band or something like that. Not too sure at the moment. But let's just see what else we could do with that. Um, so I think I will... What have I got here? Some black. I might just put... A couple of stamps down I did have some stamps hanging around here that I've been using but I'm not sure what I did with them honestly this desk I tied it up and within one session I kind of have messed it all up again and then I have some stamps here that I was using and then lose them. Here they are. Yeah, so I tidied this whole desk up the other day. And you wouldn't believe it now because it's back to square one. Well, no, it's not quite back to square one. It's loads better than it was. To be honest, it had loads and loads of mess everywhere. Right, so this is a little like postage stamp. I'm using a black ink. This is not a distress ink or anything. So this is like a permanent ink because I might come along and do some other distressy things. So I'm going to leave this one as it is. All right, let's just pop it down. It's cool. Here. That is 
that. What else could we have? What else is a good one? I do like my lady. So we can have her. Let's pop her on our, our thingy. like her she's getting used a lot lately we could do what well, we've got this set out we could do a feather a little bit blurry and I think that's because that area I'd made a little bit damp but it's not too bad so we'll stick with it for now okay I'm kind of just putting these down randomly I'm not really thinking about where I'm putting them because this will be very likely cut up. I just wipe my thingy. down a few little stamps I've got quite a lot of stamps so I quite enjoy working with with stamps to be honest and this is a really good set this one I can't remember who it's by but I will I'll look it up because I'll they're, they're really good these ones um and it's got some really cool things like you've got your key um you've got like a stamp thing you've got some books You've got a, a clock, two ladies, feather. So I quite like this set. I like the clock. You have to be... Um, mindful of pressing everywhere with the clock though because it does have a little tendency to leave some spaces where should we put this over in this corner i think that's probably gonna go blurry because i think i moved that yeah it's not too great is it but it's all right doesn't have to be perfect. Put some clock. Put you back in your little bag. So that's that. Might put one of these little birdie birdie stamps down but I quite like the effect of the white gesso because it, although it has really dulled everything down you can still see um like the papers that I've used in the backgrounds just vaguely through it they're not really showing up massively clearly, but they are cool. Right, let's put a birdie one over here. Cool. 
Oh. Good stamps. Good stamps. So I think what I will do is I'll continue to put some more stamps over this. Um, maybe show you the finished article a bit later on because you, know, you guys know how to put stamps on things. Um, you don't need me to really show you that. Um, this was another thing that I did, um, which I really like. I think it's really cool, is to use the back. This is a back of a um, sticker. So I've, I use these. I kind of hold them down. And I kind of just do like an outline of them. So they become like a bit of a, a bit of a ghostly figure. And if I can find my dobber easily I'll show you what I mean I think I've probably shown this before actually but I'll show you anyway let's use the black one you need to use a dark colour on this because it's kind of you're creating like a ghostly figure it's that kind of thing so I'm going to put her down here in this corner now you could use a bit of um washi tape to stick her down and then take it off but I'm going to run with it a little bit and see if I can just do it with my fingers so let's pop her in this corner and all I do is just go around the edge to kind of create like a white out space and in an ideal world I would like to have done that without having to move anything because and keep it as accurate as I can. I think that will be okay. So now you're kind of left with like um, a ghostly figure in the corner. So if you're doing like a Halloween um, journal, or something like that, it would be really good. And it's a really good way of just using up the sticker backings for something else other than just being thrown away. So, it's quite a fun thing to do. So, I'll leave that there for the time being, actually. Um, so, this doesn't get too long. And, you know, it's like I say, you guys know how to put stamps on things. So, it's, I'm not doing anything wildly exciting here and different. I'll probably stick some extra textures on here. But I'll probably do that with Mod Podge or something. So, I'll do that later when I've got the Mod Podge out. Um... But I'll, yeah, I'll probably put some different textures and stuff, or maybe some stickers. So that's what I'm planning to do with that. Here is a little example of a new journal that I'm working on, a mini journal. I've put it all together. I've just got to decorate it. I'm sort of in the process of decorating that. So that is on the go. And I'm also doing this, which is like a soft cover. This is washi. Um... This was a paper bag, like a brown, big, hard brown paper bag that you get from Amazon deliveries these days with a um, old Jiffy bag inside it. So it's got like bubble wrap in it. It's kind of squishy. So it's all squishy. The This is quite firm. It's, it's not as firm as a box, but it is quite firm. So it will hold its shape. Um, because I kind of firmed it all up with loads and loads of washi tape. And this is one that I'm kind of working on at the moment, just working my way slowly through, decorating it. Got quite a bit to do on that still. So that's the other one that I've got on the go. So those two on the go, this on the go, got lots of stuff going on. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed just doing a little bit of craft with me and I will see you all very soon. Bye for now.